Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is Super Dark Nova today, and today we have a tutorial video on mobile Android version 5.1 with a Droid Turbo. Now, the tutorial is obviously the name of the video: how to add a launcher slash theme to Android. Now, you're probably wondering what a launcher is. Well, you see this default Android view for my uh for my Droid Turbo. Yeah, that's I I like it honestly. I'm not saying it's boring. It's just kind of gets old after a while. So what we're going to do is, um, I was just looking into them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go find a launcher. So find anyone you want. So personally, in my opinion, you're going to want to go with the least one that has at least a 4.4 rating or higher. Because those ones tend to actually work on multiple versions of a droid. Like on my old S4, I remember the Aero Launcher. No, it wasn't the Aero Launcher. I think it was the Nova Launcher, the Ola Launcher. One of those two did not work on my phone, and it, it wouldn't, like, I mean, my phone didn't break. It's just, it wouldn't work with my phone, if you know what I mean. It was really buggy. So, go with one you actually truly trust, and I, I looked into this one. This is actually by Microsoft Corporation. This is made for almost every version of Android. There is one I do not know it was made for, because it says optimized for almost every Android. And the reason why I know it works for my Droid Turbo is if I go to my options from does this device model only, five star and, s and two star. It's slow, launcher's laggy, probably should clear up some, uh, clear up some RAM buddy, but, uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna obviously accept that stuff, install. Um, you can now drag an app out of the app. That's pretty cool. This doesn't make any sense, but. Okay, so we're, what you're gonna wanna do is you just wanna let the, all this install. Uh, let it load or install let it install oh, I like this too how Microsoft came out with a crap ton of cool things for the Android uh, okay what you want to do is you want to open it uh, okay yeah made for you and it's gonna give you that stupid launch thing okay analyzing your app looking at your desktop or stuff like that confirm at least five of your most used apps so we got PlayStation, definitely. Uh, iFunny. Uh, I'm new to this. This is I have yet to lose this, use this launcher. I'm just gonna do a little crap. Okay, yeah, Facebook obviously. Uh, okay, YouTube definitely. Okay, done. Your arrow arrow added. Your most used apps there. So okay, cool. So set arrows default launcher. Always click no to that. You always want to click no. Now you guys can uh, see some random numbers. Don't mind that one that legit has no freaking contact. That's just some stupid ad provider that was like, you want to like see ads or like credit card information from you? You can give it to us. We won't care. So yeah, never go with those guys. And this app, honestly, I, I kind of like this launcher, but you know, the sake for tutorial. And now you're probably going, well, how do you switch back? Well, now that you clicked the default, like you click no on set it to the default launcher, just click your home button and then click launcher three or whatever it'll say. That's not the arrow launcher. And then just click always because this is your default launcher. And now we're back to the main launcher. Like, see, right there, right there. Only problem I find with every time you change your launcher, it changes the background. Like, ugh. Look at that disgusting background. Ugh. Uh, so what you want to do, obviously just go to your gallery and stuff like that. I'm not going to do it. And hey, uh, you want to, you want to go to that launcher again? Boom. Right there. It's legit the only way. That's all you got to do, guys. But like I said, never set the launcher to your default launcher because you don't know if you're going to like it. And if you don't like it, um, that is a whole nother can of worms that you're going to need to open with your settings. And like, and since every Android phone has a different settings menu i cannot help you with that all i can truly help you with is with the droid turbo or anything i think with the droids um or actually androids like i said it's going to be different so i won't know how you will get to it what you're going to do is you're going to, want to go to your apps you're going to want to go to all you're going to want to find this launcher wow that's a lot of things for android uh oh wait, it's called arrow am i stupid so it's gonna be up here i am stupid right here okay then what you're gonna do is 
clear defaults. Because this what this is launched by default, you see that, and then it, and then no default set. So you're going to want to click clear default because that's going to remove it from the, the default launcher, and you will go back to your main launcher, as you can see right here. Boom, arrow launcher. Boom, boom, and boom, and search apps. Uh, let's do balloons, okay. And just to show you gaming works with this thing. Now I know it's probably a small screen, but that's because, you know, Easy Recorder isn't made for like multitasking, like gaming and desktop and all that. But yeah, that's how you know that works. Okay, and then let's just click home. Open up the arrow launcher, and there you go. Now, if you do want to set it as your default launcher, go ahead. You guys know, just access your apps, find arrow launcher, and then click reset default. Because that'll that'll ask you what launcher do you want default. Here, hold up. I want to see. Hold, hold up. Um, settings. Just to show you guys this works. Set default launcher. Uh, always. Just to show you that this guy this works, guys. See, now we're on the default, never mind. <laughs> default launcher, never mind. <laughs> Settings, fail to set default launcher, try again. Oh, okay, arrow launcher, okay. Now if we go home, uh, let's click always. Now the arrow launcher is officially our, always our, like, launcher. Now we're gonna go to settings, this is just to help show you guys it works. Apps, you're gonna wanna go to all. Now, like I said, find arrow, arrow launcher, clear defaults, click the home button. Now it's going to ask you what launcher you want. Let's use you. Now let's click the home button real quick. And then I'm going to click always on you. Yeah. And that's a short little video on how you guys can use your, uh, you know, how to change launchers. Works for every single launcher. You know, it was different back on my S4. There was a setting in the main settings. It was like set launcher. That was really cool. Android, if you're watching this video, please bring that back. That would be so much more simpler than just having to go to my applications and then finding the application itself. Because what if it was like Nova or um, like Ola? I had to go deep into my apps because there's so many of the things from Android that you guys saw. I right, hope you guys had uh, fun watching this video, and uh, there's a little uh, animation for you guys in the... Yeah. Bye.